What's up, people? <laughs> Thug life. <laughs> Happy New Year! Yeah, 2015! What's up? It's gonna be great. How's it feel to be in 2015 already? I mean, it's 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 just <laughs> great. Yeah. It's 2015. <laughs> I can't believe 2014's already gone. I can't. It's a good Why? year. Like the last two months were just I couldn't play anything. It seems <laughs> like everything was broken. <laughs> a year ago it was a two never mind. Um, <laughs> Don't do the year jokes, they're bad. <laughs> All right, well, welcome to 2015. I just, I mean, we are super, super stoked about all things gaming and oh we're gonna my, yes. you know, bring you so much new stuff from press start tv um you know so welcome and let's just get started with some news some big news big news big news i guess not who you are no it's big news all right what's this big news naughty dog is talking <laughs> about <laughs> naughty dog um uncharted last of us making amazing games um the last of us 2 is on the books maybe, maybe it's it was, possible it showed up on somebody's resume from naughty dog so but it's that a pretty good just, indication now, that how do we get that like concept art hmm? so that could have just been like somebody that did concept art sure. so, what do you mean showed up on the resume so like if he has a linkedin profile or his resume hit somebody else and it kind of made it its way out it said i did this working on last of us 2 Man. Dun, dun, dun. But they're always still working like, on it. It's, 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 yeah. you know, it's Facebook for professionals. It could be in a pipeline somewhere. I bet that guy's found a job because now it's posted everywhere in the world. Uh, <laughs> or he didn't or find, he a did find a job and now he's fired yeah. from Naughty Dog. Yeah. <laughs> Man, The Last of Us 2. I know, Nine, you, I mean, well, have you guys, did you guys? No. You, you, have, uh, you need to play that. That's an amazing game. Trust Come me, on. play it, dude. I'll, hey, I'll play it. I like, get, to, I like to borrow it. I watched it. <laughs> oh, their whole PlayStation too. So the the quick Mine snapshot is: if you don't have a PlayStation Three or Four, go buy one. Play this game, an emotional game, great story, yes. great gameplay, everything about it is, is happening and far outweighs. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, and we're in the seventies. Yeah. <laughs> this is two thousand fifteen. That's a new year. So the last of us two. Generation. What are your thoughts? I mean, um, well, the, I mean, Naughty Dog already said that the the story for Ellie and Joel is done. Like that's, which is interesting that's to that. Me. Because, man, did it but, leave, it kind of left you wondering. Oh, it didn't leave me wondering. Aww. I know what happened. Think about if Last of Us 2 is like a big anticipation game where you play as one of the clickers waiting for Ellie and Joel to run through your room and, and you then, have to get them. And if you miss and, them, you got to start over. Yeah, <laughs> and, and, and that will completely weeks. defy the whole logic behind Last of Us 1. Oh, man, uh, you no, wait um, They could weeks. do it in a whole different part of the country. Which they could or, tell you know, they could tell the country. story of how the outbreak happened. I don't think I don't think for a sequel no? they would do that. I think they would do that Later between on. Last of Us Two and Last of Us Three, or even after Three, or possibly like after that. Three. Um, you think it's gonna? Uh, it's still in the same time zone, but uh, somebody else's story. Yeah, I think it would definitely. They could follow the Firefly line. I, think I figured it out. The Last of Us Two is Uncharted Four. Is Uncharted 4. <laughs> Uncharted Drake 4 ends and Last of Us 2 starts. <laughs> so Joel and Drake meet each other. Oh man, that would be a trippy experience. Power ah. couple. Troy uh, Baker total and power power couple. couple. Troy Baker and Nolan North in the same game. Oh, that'd be great. That'd be awesome. Hasn't happened yet? Okay, so we're getting Maybe. off topic. Anyway, uh, I don't know what they're going to do with it, but man, I mean, the Uncharted series is amazing. I, I'm just a big fan of Naughty Dog. I think these guys are, are just really Naughty cranking Dog is probably my stuff. favorite. Independent, uh, not independent, first party developer. <laughs> <You're making it> <laughs> <right>. <laughs> Minecraft, the last they're of us little, edition. They're a little bigger than that, but um, you know, I, I can't wait to see where they go with it. Um, I think they'll sell millions and millions of copies in, and I'm super stoked for Uncharted. Uh, that's going to be absolutely amazing. Yeah. Um, okay, let's talk about uh, awesome games done quick. Awesome games done quick. Probably one of my favorite events of the year for just. I love everything the they video do. Video gaming community. Just so tell amazing. tell the person that hasn't heard about them what that's about. So basically, for a week, a bunch of just nerds, nerdy. I mean, a nerd, and I'm saying nerd like not in a bad way at all because these guys are awesome what they do, and I follow oh, yeah. a ton of them. Just get together uh, in Herndon, Virginia, and they just kind of sit in a room, sit in a hotel, and just destroy games. Speed run totally games. Speed like run it's games. Nobody's break business. Break games to beat them faster than each other. Oh, last year, they beat uh, the GoldenEye record was beat, and someone played Super Punch-Out blindfolded. And they got or every... Or Mike Tyson's Punch-Out blindfolded. That, but one did guy, they get through? Oh, yeah. yeah. They beat it. One guy did every single ending to Chrono Trigger, too. Yeah. 
that was awesome because yeah. I haven't seen half of those endings. But there's like speed runs that'll end in like 25 minutes or no like, way. Yeah, there's yes, speed dude. runs that end in six hours. Like someone, I think. Wind Hold Waker on a second. Stop. Time out. What? You can't beat Mike Tyson blindfolded. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Yes, you can. I'll pull it up for you. We can. We'll prove it. Yeah. It's a thing. He, I'm, he pro I don't know. I don't These know. These guys are committed professionals, and they raised over a no million dollars for cancer research. Like that charity, is yeah, awesome. charities. Like that's, that's what they do, and that's why they're awesome. I donated, so, and it's a great thing that gamers do. And if you're all involved in video gaming at all, awesome games done quick is coming next week. Be a part of it. Streams on Twitch. Yeah, yeah, it's always the top thing on Twitch when it's going. Maybe we can check that out. Maybe we can get down there and uh, support that. Uh, we're always in support of uh, raising awareness for, for you know things like that mm -hmm. um, uh, with the support of games. I think that's one of the greatest things ever. Um, anyway, uh, very, very cool. I can't, I just, the whole mic tight. I mean, it's going to blow your mind. <laughs> it, it, it caught me off guard. I just can't see it because he's not on. Anyway, uh, there, there's uh, there's some great games coming out uh, this month in January. Uh, not a whole lot of games. No, <laughs> but it's the turn of the year. So. Yeah, um, you know December wasn't even that big uh, in games, but that's because all the games are already out. Yeah, they want to hit that holiday peak. Yeah, but, which October, makes November. sense. Yeah. If I'm if I'm a if I'm a publisher, I want my game to be out at the beginning of the buying season, not at the end of it. Right. Well, right. I mean, you saw a lot of games get pushed back, and for what I think is a good reason to get out, because there was a really oversaturation of this past year's Black Friday area. So you're going to see a lot of people in February now. I, which makes sense, because now that I've, or if I'm just getting my new console, now I've got something to look forward sure. to. Right. Or your, you have your Christmas cash that you, you can suddenly be like, all right, I'm saving this amount of money for this game. Yeah, right or on. It's like, I got this guy right here. And thank God <laughs> That's I what I do ball, every year. I would not be able to play a ball right now. So, uh, it's going to be a great game. I hope. That's Jan uh, really January, uh, Dying Light coming out this month. Gonna Dying Light, awesome. a very highly anticipated title. Um, if you like zombies, it's up your alley. I think everybody likes zombies, at least a little uh, bit. A little that bit. Guy, he's, uh, he's, yeah, not but even a little bit? So over zombies at this point. And like, no way. They're not Dying going, Light dude, with like Walking Dead as big as it is on Dying TV, Light. they ain't going anywhere. Well, that's fine. They don't have to go anywhere. I'm what do you think? What's your opinion on Dying Light? Uh, I mean, it kind of looks like a. Speed Runners, that video, that game, and mixed with uh, Dead Island. Just Mirror's Edge meets Dead Island. Yeah, you know, is that something what you're like saying? that. It looks <laughs> cool, I, it, but it, like, sums it up. But, but go ahead. <laughs> not, not so long, yeah. there, go ahead. Is, there is some interesting gameplay mechanics and um, the nighttime thing. Yeah, the nighttime that's thing. Really that, that's really got me That's a whole different uh, element, uh, yeah. I think. So I'm kind of excited to I see. I know what's behind that. Yeah, I do too. And, and it could. Bring an extra level of difficulty. Like, oh, you know, it definitely does. We'll see, that, I mean, we'll see it. what it does. But um, there's also some other cool games coming out. We had the pleasure of last E3 talking with a guy from Atlas, um, Ryan. Ryan, uh, for Citizens of Earth. Uh, Citizens of Earth, we're going to give that game a shout out. Uh, comes out this month. It's an exciting, addictive game. I know you've talked to him a couple of times. Yep. Uh, it, it's very Earthbound like. So yeah, if you like Earthbound, you like Earthbound you'll at all. definitely like this game. It's very, very cool. Considered to be one of the greatest Super Nintendo games out there. Earthbound. Earthbound. One of the hardest to find games. Too. Yeah, true. Very rare. Um, and GTA to PC. Yep, GTA Five finally coming to finally. PC finally. So no, it's supposed to come out in up. November when or December. When did the no, ones that come out on PS4? They announced the next gen stuff at the same time, but they said next gen's coming out this date, but PC's not coming out till January. Oh. So I don't think they just time. announced them at the same time. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. So I there's, there's, there's your January the lineup. Got problems. So all the PC gamers are gonna be. Doing GTA. Yeah. Um, okay, by the way, this is Nine. My name is Will. This is Gage. This is Sam. Yeah, we we'll have that. more for you there when we get back. Box, new way to start <laughs> We're going to be talking about um, greatest uh, arcade games, uh, our best of series, uh, our best of series for arcade games coming up right after this. See you in a second. Hey there, welcome back. <laughs> Just, <laughs> so, we're going to be talking about our favorite arcade games. By the way, if you want to let us know what your favorite arcade game is, we'd love to hear from you. Anybody who... Did I say that right? Anybody who uh, comments uh, will send you a free Press Start shirt. So, let us know what your favorite arcade game is. Uh, let's talk about some. The arcade, back in the day, that was like... The place to be it's where you could play the best games have the best graphics i mean arcades were huge they still are but they've transformed they're very different now now arcade it's like the big machines to the mall to the arcade and play doodle jump 
Yeah, yeah but, but the stack <laughs> is wow. out of even have uh, Actually, arcade? actually it? Flappy Bird is alive and well in arcades. Oh, good. I'm saying like the Daytona racing games, Dance Dance Revolution, all the games that you're not going to have in your house. The ones with the, like, the motorbike, where that you're actually on yeah. the motorbike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Sledstorm. But when, yeah. when in the arcades, it used to be that, like, I remember thinking, like, man, I wish I could play this game at, at home. home. Yeah. And you get back home and you literally you had, said that was Mortal Kombat. Yeah, you had your 8 bit Nintendo. I was like, it doesn't look anything like this. You suck. <laughs> yeah. and now what I Man. <laughs> and your TV's tiny and discolored. I'm so upset with and this bubbled. expensive thing I have sitting right here. So, so some great experiences. Um, you know, those of you who are not old enough to remember the arcades, uh, it was just a d different time. But, um, you know, the, like I said, they've definitely transformed, but some of the best... Uh, uh, the machine's still in the festive spirit from Christmas. That's right. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, we don't decorate much around here. <laughs> uh, so, uh, let's talk about some of our favorites. Um, Sam, what were some of your favorite games? I'm going to have to go with Pac-Man Pac and Miss Pac-Man. Uh, I mean, Pac-Man's a classic. Oh, I, mean, I could play that game for hours upon hours upon hours, and I love the one where it was like a table. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? And like yeah. you can set your drink down and still play. Yeah. Oh, it's best. I've heard a lot of stories about people like, man, I used to go to the laundromat there on the corner and there used to be a Pac Man machine. And he's in there. Why are you I'd doing laundry? Play, you know. yeah. <clears throat> My story starts with ice cream parlor, but she got the thing like just looking down. Yeah. <laughs> and occasionally you're, you eat some ice cream and it's melted because you've been <laughs> playing for so long. Yeah. Any other games that you played on Pac Man? Or? That's really all I played. That and Skee Ball. I used to play skee ball. Skee ball. Ski ball. <laughs> that was an arcade game, though. It's an arcade. I guess, I guess like, so. That's pretty much what I played. I, I think every arcade's got a skee ball. Skee ball machine. Yeah. I, I, I don't think you can be classified as an arcade if you don't have a skee ball machine. I love the arcades that had air hockey. That was pretty fun. I used to play that at the roller rink. Yeah, yeah I see air hockey more at like a roller, roller rink, rink or like a, a kid's play place yeah. kind of thing. Still pretty popular. That puck comes off the thing so fast, though. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It's your oh, I used to be so good at air hockey. Oh. Gage, yeah. arcade machines. Um, I spent a lot of time Pac Man, Miss Pac Man. Nice. Um, flat, of course, flat table. Uh, other than that, Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter. Love the I mean, games. man, did you sum up, sum up a lot of people's lives in the arcades with those two it games? It wasn't even that I knew what I was doing. I was just it's having just fun awesome. buttons. And they were always the biggest machines in the in the oh, yeah. in the room too. They that had like the, the fifty six inch T V yeah. and cool. they had a bench that you could sit on because you'd sit there for hours. Of course a line of kids. We, we, we've like, talked yeah. about this in some previous shows, but when Street Fighter Two came on the scene just Huge, huge. When Mortal Kombat came out and the graphics and the blood the, and the, the gore, the first time you could do all that kind of stuff, you're hitting the buttons harder and harder. But it was like it was interesting because you have like the, the Mortal Kombat well. people on one side of the arcade, then yeah. the other Street Fighter people on the other, and you know two of the and biggest fighting games out there. Yeah. I remember being in there. Where's the Honda? Where's the Honda in this game? Over yeah, there. and there'd be people like arguing Mortal Kombat's better and Street Fighter's better yeah. while they're waiting in line for to play their turn. Just freaking Gang, uh, the original cool. Gang Wars. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Turf Wars are terrible. Nine. What do you? Uh, I, I'm going to say Time Crisis. I spent a lot of money on Time Crisis in the arcade. I mean, that's again, and that's a game that you would probably still find the arcades it was, because it was larger. It had the the setup guns that you had to grab, and and that's what sold me on it. Yeah. I was a kid, and I could shoot stuff. It yeah. was just like it was a dream come true. Yeah. It was awesome. <laughs> and it was. I mean, a lot, a lot right, of... we now know Nine's dream. Yeah, it, well, <laughs> I like to shoot things. <laughs> I do. Man, I got so many games um, that I remember. Uh, Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, definitely on the list. Time Crisis is also on the list. A lot of fun. Love and, it. and again, Pac-Man's all on my list. Uh, so, some older games, of course, Galaga was pretty popular. Galaga. Um, I liked Rampage. I liked Gauntlet. Gauntlet, man. I liked Pit Fighter. I never played Gauntlet in the arcade. Actually. It was awesome. I only, I only ever played it on the four man console. machine that each one was color coded mm -hmm. to which Like the X Men you were. machine? Yeah. I played a lot of X Men too. Um, what else did I like? I liked The Simpsons. Oh, yeah. That was a lot of fun. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, when it first came out, was big. Yeah. Uh, Smash TV was pretty Smash big. Smash TV mm -hmm. is another one I've only played on I, the console. I liked the, uh, the Stun Runner game, which was like a, kind of like a racing game. Yeah. Um, 
just kind of like dollar Outrun. dollar to play or Outlast. Well, I didn't really get in that. Actually, Not I played. I do remember game. the Daytona game was pretty fun. Like, I got into that. When Days of Thunder. Out. Remember that one? It was, it was kind of like that. It was before uh, Daytona was Sega and all that. Yeah. And one other game called Mad Dog McGree, which was like a 3D kind of a thing. <laughs> it was a lot of fun, dude. I, I spent a lot of time in case. It was like the holographic thing. Yeah, to man. Do. So many so many good memories. Um, but again, we'd love to hear what you guys think. Some of your best arcade experiences. Uh, we could go on forever about all this, but uh, hit us up. Let us know what you think. Again, our YouTube is youtube.com slash PSVGTV. We'll have more for you when we get back. All righty. Welcome back. Uh, we're going to be talking about uh, 2015 most anticipated games of the year. That's exactly That's what, what we're going to do. Stuff today, man. I'm going to say it's next episode one more time, and we're going to keep talking about Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre for the whole day. And we start talking Method about Man's going to be sitting in on an interview. Oh, yeah. um, where you at? <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. I know what's going on. 2015. <laughs> 2015. Uh, most anticipated games. So, um... There's going to be a lot of games coming out. Uh, I, first I mean, quarter's pretty packed, though, too. First oh, quarter's yeah. good, but, you know, and, and there might be some games that we haven't even heard yet that will be released, of course. Typically happens, but... Um, <laughs> most just don't announce games anymore. They just come out. Historically. <laughs> well, I mean, it happens, like, we'll get the announcement mid-year, it comes out. But a lot of the times, they'll push games back, and they're in development for a long time, too. So a lot of the bigger games yeah, have, too. of course, already been announced. Right. But... Um, so we'll see what happens, but let's start talking about some of these games. Um, and a lot to talk about. Uh, there is one game on here, um, No Man's Sky. I was kind of uh, excited about oh that one. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> I'm more excited about that game. Not as excited about oh, Bloodborne, that. but it's close. Say, wait, it's wait, very wait, close wait, tie. Wait, it's very close. It's very close. Um, no, uh, if it wasn't for Bloodborne, No Man's Sky would be my most anticipated title for this year. Yeah, I mean, just I've told massive. my friends I'll buy it for them if they don't plan to buy it. That's how much I want to play this game with people. Just, just a you huge. You mean you'll actually game. play a video game with me? What? If you buy No Man's Sky, he's paying for friends. I know. Like, wait, what? <laughs> Just my friends, <laughs> not everybody's friends. Video and will buy you No Man's Sky. That's right. not true. <laughs> All right, so No Man's Sky, um, we'll have more for you on that game when it comes out, um, or leading up to the release of it. But a massive game and a, a very kind of a, I don't want to say under the radar game, but it just it's not under the radar. Not anymore. Um, but <laughs> oh, at no. E3, it picked up so much steam, and it just it's looks great. Um, Gage, I'll go ahead and throw this one to you. I mean, I we already know. This I too answer. am also uh, looking forward to this, but Batman, Batman Arkham Knight, mm -hmm. I, I, it just looks fantastic. Yeah. And then, well, after the follow-up from the awesome game that Arkham Origins was, <laughs> Arkham Knight's got to be like ten times better than that because it's still rock steady, and it's like everybody's coming back for this. Um, oh yeah, I want to see where it goes. Well, they haven't shown off. A lot, yeah. No, no just that one lab section. So, some of, the, some of the combat, some of the new yeah, toys. The stuff some they of just the put out. We saw all that stuff at E3. Yeah. yeah. Like before. The only thing that there. they've really come out and noticed, or well, extensively said now, is that you can use the Batmobile in the Scarecrow sections. Yeah, but we're which still is cool. six months away from the release, and we only know oh, yeah. like three villains. Oh, yeah. Or four villains, really. So, I mean, and then they always pack those games with villains, whether or not they're a big playing big, game or not. Yeah. Just, they just pour it. If this is the last game, I, this is going to be over the top. Uh, the Batmobile was a good addition, uh, for sure. Batmobile looks awesome. It looks, man. That was one of my favorite scenes is when, uh, in the trailer, he was at one part talking with the guy doing some combat, and he, he calls upon the Batmobile, which is sitting behind them, and he kind of comes in and fires at him this way. Oh, man. Just I like him driving the Batmobile down the out. street and launching himself. That's so cool. That, uh, just amazing. You can't have Batman without the Batmobile. I'm they sorry. did it for three games. I mean, no, you can't. Well, now it's there, and it, it looks awesome. Can't wait to can't wait to see that the final finished product. And I totally agree. I think this game is gonna kick butt. I sh it might be the best game of the series. It looks that way so far for me. I mean, Arkham City. As long as they don't amazing. jack the story. <laughs> I actually thought I Asylum think be was good. good too. I liked both of those games. Origins was a, uh, but uh, the, don't get me wrong. The story for Origins I thought was, was good. Awesome. But it wasn't just the gameplay. It was like, wrong. It just didn't bugs. feel yeah. as good as the other two. Right. Anyway, um, <laughs> Bloodborne, of course. Uh, Absolutely. Put it on the list. I'm not looking forward to that at all. Well, you're not <laughs> a survival horror type <laughs> you don't gamer. 
I'm a masochist, according yeah, to my friends, because I like to be tortured by video games. <laughs> I, I know, uh, quick shout out to, to Jarrett. I know he was uh, yeah. skeptical about the game, wasn't interested in it, but now he's going to buy it after watching the trailer. Have you, uh, the, have you have been the, any desire um, to play this game or what? Not really. No? I might pick it up, but you know, not at the moment. You've got to have a PS4 first, Holmes. Hey, I might. Who knows? I yeah. got time. It, it does look good. Um, I, I will say that you know that series, the the Dark Souls, Demon Souls, all from kind of software knows what they are doing and how to torture people it's in just the most absurd manners, and I, I love mean, it. I like difficult video games, but you know it might be too much. I don't know. I, just not I thought the same thing, and then I fell in love. <laughs> um, another game, uh, The Legend of Zelda, of course. Oh Legend of Zelda, huge open world game. There is a new trailer out for that. Um, if you haven't checked it out, you can YouTube it. Um, oh, I, I mean, it's so pretty. It, it's so beautiful. It's just it's a, a Zelda game. Like, like it's again. Uh, we talked about this before, though. Then you need to make sure that if you're right. going to release a AAA t title, the Nintendo, it's going to be awesome. There is some question into the graphical style. People have I, been no, talking about it. There should be no issues that with that graphical style. One Waker came out, and everyone was like, oh, and and, and now it's like this huge thing. Like, oh my God, I love One Waker. And now like two like. Is his own deal. Like the yeah, whole, oh yeah. he's got a, you know. His character on Smash Bros. Yeah, uh, I think this game is absolutely going to blow things out of the water. I mean, it's going to be amazing. There's another Tomb Raider coming out. Yeah. Yeah, exclusively yeah. at Xbox One first, which I find dumb. Yeah. But. Eh, whatever. Well, yeah, all, all that. <laughs> Exclusive. I hate it. Consoles it's is all it's destroying all that would go consumer away. fans. Yeah. It, it's so Smash bad. Smash Brothers should be on Xbox One. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, no, first party titles, it's okay. <laughs> That's fine. Makes sense. But third party games that are coming out on multiple consoles should come out at the same time across the board. Yeah, Agreed. Agreed. Street Fighter Five. Um, a, a massive, massive, massive game. Star Wars. Uh, yeah. did, I cannot Battle wait front. to see what happens with this game. Again, we're trying to tell you 2015. Is it confirmed that it's coming out this year? Oh, I think they slated it for holiday this year. Holiday 2015. I imagine it might get pushed either. Yeah, that's a good if point. It's dice, these, it's, yeah, it's very possible that these it games are slated to come out, but you, we all know how that works. They might get pushed back, and and that's okay. Uh, Mario Party might be coming out uh, 2015. Mario Party is slated for this year. Uh, of course, Mario. Metal Gear: Phantom Pain finally going to come out. Um, <laughs> finally, yeah. <laughs> Six <laughs> years <laughs> after its announcement. Three, three. <laughs> but I, I tell you what, man, that that game is going to be. Freaking amazing! As long as I can't. Psycho Man you know, I have no desire to play the game, but I want to watch somebody play it. I, I, I the, you can watch me play because I, I, I just want the cinematic experience. Yeah, like because that's well, I bet for me, be Metal a Gear. Metal Cutscene in there anyway. Oh, yeah. Metal Gear is all <laughs> every other every Metal other, Gear every is all mission. about the story for me. It's not about the You're actual gameplay because I hate the gameplay. In Metal the Gear. the The Witcher Three. Um, oh man, that's just going to be a huge <laughs> open world game. Uh, very. I mean, yeah, they wouldn't shut up about that. Well, I think we'll finally get the first promise. On you see that mountain, you, you can climb it. That's not nice. like the failed destiny. That's, a, that's 2015. <laughs> Ra Rainbow Six uh, Siege. Siege, yeah. That's yeah. Not, that's I, I, that looks good. I hope that makes it this year. Um, Tom Clancy's The Division. Yeah. The Division. The Order 1886. Oh yeah. Uh, that's next did month. You see the, new, the trailer? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> looks really, really good. Um, and uh, Mario Maker, of course, is coming out. Uh, that one looks really good. So we'll see how that ends up um, being. But like I said. We're trying to tell you 2015 is going to be an absolutely massive year. Just a huge year, and uh, we're excited to cover as many things as we can for you. Um, so anyway, uh, start making your uh, your wish list now. Pre-order these games. Um, get them in there. Uh, and that's all we can say for you right now. It's going to be a good year. Yep. Don't miss out. Don't miss out. Uh, check us out on youtube.com slash psvgtv. And again, don't forget to let us know your favorite arcade experiences. We'll send you a free Press Start t-shirt. Uh, that's all the time we have for you today. Thank you so much for joining us. Until next time, out. Out. See ya. Love you.